Hey there, Aries. This is Piper from Piper's Dragon Tarot, and this is your read for February of 2019. So we're going to cover love, money, and career. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, thank you for watching, and please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button and the like button. Also, don't forget to click on the link below. Check out your extended read, which is called The Unexpected. So a little extra surprise for you on Vimeo. They're $1.99, and it gives you a little extra vision for the month. Uh, anything unexpected showing up that you weren't prepared for, this will give it to you. Okay, so love, money, career for the Aries in February, Spirit. Aries in February, love, money, career. Love, money, career. Okay. Love, Queen of Swords. Money, Four of Wands, and career. The Two of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so bottom of the deck. The chariot. We're going to leave that up top. And the hanged man. So these two cards, we're going to talk about those as a general energy um, sort of outcome for the month. Um, somebody in February makes a, a, suscept a, susceptible, a, a successful departure here with the chariot. And the hanged man is about being hung up about it. Um, you may be second guessing yourself or someone around you is second guessing themselves, even though this was the either the right thing to do or the way to go. Uh, let's get into the reading and see if this applies to all areas of your life here. All right. So love, we have the queen of swords. Um, she protects herself. It's not as if she won't entertain. And I say she, but it could be male or female. Um, I feel like this is you. Okay, so I feel like this is you guys. You guys are you guys aren't really open to love this month. Um, this is sort of Queen of Swords is a big picture person. It's not as if you're not entertaining people's offers. You're just simply not throwing yourself in there. <laughs> you're like, see the hand extended. You're like, okay, step forward. Let's see what you got. But it's not. Um, you're protecting yourself here. In February, um, maybe a little jaded, a little guarded, waiting to see what life has to offer in the future. <laughs> Queen of Swords makes very logical decisions, and so um, you're not certainly not following your heart in the month of February. Um, it's about making decisions based on brain power. Um, Again, logic, analytical. And it's like any decision that you do make here is going to be based on whether it's good for you with the Queen of Swords. She's going to make decisions with a smart head, no longer relying on her heart for guidance. Yeah, so you guys are feeling a little bit, you're going to take a step back for the month of February and examine things with a big picture attitude. Oh, the death card. Um, the death card is about releasing things that no longer suit you or no longer are any good um, for your future. Um, a situation may have presented itself that needed to be taken care of or needed to be changed or ended because... Um, the death card is about new beginnings as well. So there's some transformation. You may be going through a transformation here, and this is just part of it. This is a stage here, making smarter decisions, not letting yourself be coerced into offers that don't mean anything, or, you you know, the Queen of Swords, this person has learned some really hard lessons. These lessons were learned the hard way, and so... 
it's also this all, Queen of Swords is also about truth, and there could be that you saw the truth in a situation. You may have ended it with the Death card. Bottom of the deck is the Child card. So I'm getting that this this is about starting over. This card starting over with depth and clarity of a situation. A situation may have clarified itself for you guys. There, uh, yeah, there is more to it than meets the eye, or there was more to it than meets the eye. You may have been aware of a certain situation um, that caused an ending here. Some of you may have to do with children. All right. Advice and love. Here we go. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's about the truth, all right. And honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can't expect it from myself. Bottom of the deck is discipline. I knew that card was coming. I can accomplish whatever I set my mind to. These two cards indicate that you need to try to stick to the truth in all aspects of your life. Um, the Perseverance card is about remaining steady. Even though you may feel lied to or you think situations aren't clear. It's about um, holding your own, maintaining your own balance, because you can provide yourself with the truth and you can be honest with yourself. This is also, uh, you know, not living in denial here. The honesty card is also realizing how you really feel, aware of your feelings, aware of your inner self and how you are feeling at any particular moment during a situation. And so it's about remaining balanced in situations where you may think you're being lied to, or you're simply looking for the truth according to how you feel. You know, if an offer comes in for you in February and you're gonna take a good look at it, but you're also going to trust yourself and, um, you're going to be taking a good look at it from within. Like, do I think this is on the up and up? Is this going to be good for me? You know, you're really going to take a good hard look at what's happening um, when you're being offered to. Spirit is saying it's a part of your process. Conclusions are within reach. Huh? Full moon eclipse. Well, we're having one right now. We're just coming out of it. And bottom of the deck is the end of a tough cycle approaches. This card indicates that a finalization will come. Something has come full circle here, especially with the death card. It's time for things to change and you no longer need to participate in um, partnerships or things that don't assist you in reaching your goals. This is also a card that indicates the truth may become available very soon. Um, and for some of you, it's time for you to realize that you may never know the truth. It's all about what you feel with the honesty card. All right, money. Money, you've got the four of wands in reverse. The four of wands in reverse is about this is a lack of stability here um okay sweet okay sorry just listening for a second this is going to be a, a tough month financially um and i feel like you guys don't feel like it's this is a lack of stability lack of commitment um Home life may be in disarray, but it's putting pressure on your finances here. Yeah, and there's something unstable about it. Some of you want to find a better place to live, um, but for now, this is how it has to be. 
some of you feel like out of place or displaced with this card. I feel like it has to do with your home. Some of you, your finances lack stability and some of you have had to take on, uh, maybe you're living in a new space that isn't quite what you need or quite what you want. Um, you know, with the, uh, with the chariot card here, some of you may have moved, um, but now you're a bit hung up about it. Um, you're like, mm, did I make the right decision here? But I feel like you did, or you did, you know, you just need to, um, you need to focus on flipping this card upright. Um, finances will stabilize, but you got to commit yourself to the process. It's not always as easy as it looks. So I feel like in February, you're going to make do with what you have in order to remain fluid. In other words, in order for cash flow to remain fluid. Um, this is also a card of delay here with the four of wands. You're waiting for things to come about. You're waiting for, you know, home stability. Um, yeah, they're saying it, it, it's all going to come at a later date. It's about finding the right environment at a later date. So some of you may have moved or relocated and you might be rethinking it or you're kind of being, you're, you know, you're held back while you gain enlightenment here with the hanged man can be waiting around because you have to, because you don't really have a choice in the matter. I feel like financially speaking, things are okay, but you're not where you want to be. And it, it's like a, it's a process. It is a process. You got the journey card. Some of you did move with the journey card. Um, so the journey card is about finding solace in the fact that you did something right for a change. Some of you did the right thing here. The chariot is a card of success. And, um, it was a successful, you departed somewhere, I feel like, or you made a move and it was very successful. You're just second guessing yourself here in the month of February. Um, it, I feel like your journey has been all for the best, Aries. There's just a delay. Bottom of the deck is friends, friend, the friend card. Um, My goodness, something, by the way, it's something in the past caused you uh, financial distress and I feel like you've made moves to fix it or you're on a you're on the road here. We've well, got the chariot and you got the journey card. Um, so the friend card is about um, I feel like your friends are the best way forward right now. Aries takes refuge in friendships and is more accepting of certain situations that that cannot change. You may really need your friends to get through this time. Um, making ends meet is really important in the month of February, but, but spending time with your friends can be also cathartic. Hope I said that right. And so um, it may be a good idea to allow them in to help you or support you advice for Aries in whoa <laughs> service I feel good when I can help others and the failure card I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn bottom of the deck is worry I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome so the service card is about Oh, goodness. All right. They're talking about working yourself to death. Um, <laughs> you like to work. <laughs> Aries, you're, you're a workhorse anyway. Um, so this is about some of you help others on the job. 
Um, but, and you make this your, I feel like you make this your priority this month. And if you can make it your priority, you should, but you also had the failure card. Okay. These two cards are asking you to protect yourself against overuse. And I realize that sounds a little strange, but that's spirit talk. Don't overwork yourself. The situation comes around eventually. It's a process. It's not about killing yourself to make a lot of money to cover. You know, you don't like delays and you don't want to wait for things to be perfect. Um, but there needs to be some balance in the situation. So try not to get so deep in your endeavors to right the ship that you ignore other things. So, um, let's see what the moon card says. Realize your boundaries, realize your potential, be bold and make the first move. So they're saying there can and will be a time to step forward and make ends meet. Taking a leadership role in your own life is the way to go. Don't be afraid to be a leader. I feel like this is making a step in the new direction. So they are asking you to be brave and come out of your comfort zone. And it is about, um, it is about taking the lead and making big moves, but not, you don't want to just simply grind yourself into the ground. This is about thinking about new and unique ways to make money instead of, it, it's about working smarter, not harder here in February. Hmm. All right. Also, don't sit back, Aries. It's not about not working. Uh, just so you know, <laughs> you do need to work. Just don't kill yourself. For some of you, you work a lot. Some of you need to make time for others. Mm, balance. All right, here, career. Two of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. So the Two of Pentacles is typically about giving something up because you just can no longer keep the cycle going here. The juggling act in the right side up position, but you know, it came out in the reverse. And so it's about giving something up or making a decision. Um, like the decision making, making process is over and something has been dropped here. Uh, So I feel like you guys are, there was too, there was too much pressure. They're saying too much pressure this way. Um, something needs to give. So in February, I feel like you guys are either, either some of you are ending your career or leaving a job here because you do have the chariot at the top of your formation here. Um, Some of you need to adjust your schedule with the two of pentacles in reverse. Something needs to give. You can no longer continue to juggle things in the way that you are. Um, so in February, I feel like you're going to make adjustments. Like you're going to let some things go or you give up trying to make money in a traditional way. Um,
and I'm hearing everything about timelines and schedules and traditional means of making money. Um, some of you need to perfect your vision of the future to help you make these adjustments. Some of you, yeah, I'm again, I'm make, I'm seeing adjusting time schedules. So you're going to give something up that that makes this do this here. Cuz you can't continue any longer. Some of you work again, I was hearing something about working too hard. Some of you were were juggling two jobs and you're not going to do that any longer. Um again, working smarter, not harder. Please clarify the two of pentacles. The friend card. Ooh, okay. So, uh, Spirit is saying the friend card is about realizing maybe which people to hang out with or which people... This is the end of a partnership here, actually, or the end of a situation that maybe in which you were juggling two people. Um... For some of you, you've got a friend. Some of you, uh, some of you make friends at work, and so you may have to sacrifice something here. Maybe you can't work together, or the situation becomes a little too tenuous to continue. Some of you are going to leave your job. Some of you hit, they're saying Aries heads outbound in search of better things because a friendship is more important than a job in which you are no longer happy. Um, for some of you, For some of you, for some of you, it's the opposite. Some of you end a friendship because you can't continue working together, or you can't, or you can't be their friend because you work together. But one aspect of this arrangement is going to end in February. Bottom of the deck is the Lord card. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the Lord card is about dealing with someone who can be a little bit narcissistic or prideful or considers their needs more important than just about anybody's. Um, this person could may very well want to be your friend. It has something to do with partnership and work and friendship here for you guys. Um... For some of you, yeah, again, I feel like for some of you it was a business arrangement and it ended and you be, because you become friends or something ended but now you're friends. Mm, I still I still feel like you guys are um, leaving. You're doing a lot of leaving, traveling, journeying, in your mind, in your head, in your life. In February or this is something that you did already with the chariot oh forgiveness I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love somebody some of you ended a relationship at work and um, now it's time to forgive that person with the freedom card. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Bottom of the deck is gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Um, okay. For some of you, 
something ended. It has to do with your career and you, you need to forgive this person. Maybe accept a friendship, even though the person may be <laughs> a total pain in your ass um, because it will free you from any roadblocks in the future. And this is pretty much what these two cards are saying here. Successful departure, but held back for enlightenment. Um, some of you may be needing to forgive someone regardless of their proclivities. Some of you don't really have to be friend friends. You just have to just have to issue forgiveness and free yourself. Um, and this is freedom here with the two of pentacles in reverse. For some of you, this situation has got to be dealt with before you can move on from whatever this is. Career. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Bottom of the deck, release negativity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is all about balance here. Um... So this is about needing to balance head and heart. Um, it's about keeping a balance between following your intuition and practicality. And I feel like this month Aries leans a little bit more towards logic um, and analysis. Basing your decisions on, um, you know, not using emotion. Um, Spirit wants you to balance things a little better spirit is funny they're saying the circles just keep on spinning and spinning and spinning but you can't here with the two of pentacles and it's about realizing how to balance yourself so that these things don't happen for some of you, this may be something that, that started to spin out of control here. So you stopped it. Stopped it cold with a logical decision. Um, but you need to forgive the situation because it's about creating your own happiness in the future. Forgiveness creates open pathways so that you can move forward in the direction that you desire. All right, you guys, uh, so let's do one card from Wisdom of the Golden Path for spiritual advice for February, whole month of February, and I'll read from the book. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. I am blessed. This is not a bad read for Aries here. A circumstance or a situation in your life that seems unfair to you may actually be a blessing in disguise. A natural state of balance and justice exists in our world. The universal principle of complementary opposites known as yin and yang interwoven with the universal law of cause and effect keep all in life in perfect balance. Though frustrating, the present circumstance is steering you towards a higher purpose and what unfolds from this is a feeling of fulfillment and happiness. At present, you cannot see the blessing, so you have to be patient. Something beautiful will soon manifest. Surrender any feeling of resentment or frustration and trust. All is unfolding in the most perfect way for you and those around you. Plant little seeds of love and faith now and you will reap a blessed harvest in the months to come. All right, Aries, thank you so much. Don't forget to check out The Unexpected and I'll see you next month. Bye.